What is happening? Matt Maid here. Today, Pokemon released a new trailer for Sword and Shield. Let's dive into it and let's see what all they show. Turns out all the original Pokemon are now going to have Galarian forms, which are pretty much Alolan forms just by another name. The first Pokemon they showed off was Galarian Weezing. He looks interesting. He has a top hat. He looks dapper as hell. Throw a little monocle on that boy and he'd be perfect. They gave him a different typing, so now he is Poison Fairy, which is really cool because now he wants all the smoke with the dragons. Pun intended, because you know, see that little, that little smokestack coming out of his head, you know. And now he's like gonna be a beefy dragon killing boy. And I love it. I love that typing. I love that combination. It's pretty interesting. So that I'm cool with. I like that one. I'm excited for him. We were also introduced to this region's ripoff Pikachu. This Pokemon's name is Morpeko and they did something real interesting with him. Morpeko has two forms. The first is his full form, which is electric, and then he can use a move called Aura Wheel and go from electric to dark. This is a really cool thing. However, I don't know how useful or viable that's gonna be for anything. I've never really thought about how the logistics of that are gonna work, but given he has four moves, every Pokemon has, still has four moves, you're going to have to have one dark, one electric, or two dark, two electric. Some combination of the two. And it's just going to be weird. Um, I don't know how I feel. I like the, I like the typing switch thing. Like uh, with Greninja's protein. But, but it's weird. <laughs> it's just it's so strange. But he is adorable. And his hangry form, which is the dark form, is the biggest mood in a Pokemon I've ever seen. Like... Only in Pokemon can you do a move, get hangry, and then change your typing. I'm about it. I'm with it. I love it. I love the, the idea behind it. But the Pokemon, I'm on the fence about it. Then we have the Zigzagoon line of Galarian forms. So Zigzagoon became a dark type, as you do when you change regions. Uh, so Zigzagoon, Linoon, and now we have a new evolution for the Zigzagoon line. The new evolution in the Zigzagoon line is called Obstagoon. Don't know why he has his hands crossed. Don't know how he got a body, but it's weird. Like it's unexpected. I don't think anybody asked for it. It just happened. He is here now. We have to deal with it. Is this why we don't have the national decks? I don't know who asked for this. Don't know who wanted a linoon with a body and crazier hair. But now we have it, <laughs> so that's a thing. It's uh, it's definitely a thing. But it's gonna be fun to see those Giganta Max and Giga Maxed. I'm curious about that. I'm curious who's gonna get a Gigante Max out of these Galarian forms. Maybe all of them are gonna have Gigante Max. Who knows? I'm ready to see what the, I'm ready to get my hands on this. The team was also revealed. The team of this region is gonna be called Team Yell. It's weird, it's odd. They're fans of Marnie. So they're pretty much the fan base at this point. It's just, it's, they're getting weirder and weirder. Team Skull was cool. They had a nice design. I like their style. Guzma was a boss. But Team Yell, they just seem like uh, soccer fans or something. They just, they're crazy. They are in it. Marnie is one of the new rival trainers and she is super popular apparently because they got a team based around her now i didn't think they i thought she was an idol or something no she's just a trainer that everybody loves and people for some reason want to fight you over i don't know dog i couldn't tell you but since she was revealed she became everybody's waifu immediately new pokemon rifle new pokemon female has to be a waifu <sighs> internet why just why she's apparently taking the gym challenge for some goal or objective aside from just trying to win then there's bead bede i'm gonna go with bead bead i like i like bead better he is another rival trainer who's going to be taking the gym challenge and he received an endorsement from chairman rose so that's a pretty big thing he looks shady he's cocky he also has an ulterior motive don't know why every trainer in this game besides how uh, i mean hop that's his name his name is hop the same character though the exact same character i don't know why everybody besides him 
And I guess our character, unless our character has some ulterior motive we don't know about yet, has some shady thing they're trying to accomplish and succeed at. It's strange, it's weird. I'm with it though, as long as the story is interesting. I'm there for the plot and to kind of collect them all, not even catch them all at this point, just catching whatever's in the area. That's so stupid. All in all, this is a great trailer. It was interesting, it gave us a lot of information. It made us question more things. I'm curious about the Galarian forms, like who all is getting one. If we're gonna get like a form change for other Pokemon, I'm excited about it. It actually turned me from being meh, I guess I'll play it to, yeah, I definitely wanna see what this is about. But yeah, they stuffed a lot of things into this three minutes they had. Like, it's impressive. They're turning it around right at the finish line. But as always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did I miss anything? Are you excited about the game? I'd love to talk to you and geek out about it. And don't forget, if you're a fan of gaming, consider striking that subscribe button and hitting the bell. This is Matt Maid, and I'll see you in the next video.